Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will be going over 1999 Amy problem number six. In this problem, we are told that a transformation will take each point x, y in the coordinate plane and map it onto square root x, square root y. The vertices of our quadrilateral are also given as A, B, C, and D. And we would like to find the area of the region uh, enclosed by the image of the quadrilateral A, B, C, D under this very transformation. So we would like to find the greatest integer that does not exceed k, the floor of k. Um, so obviously, uh, let's start by kind of um, recognizing the location of these points, I assume. So um, I, I will go ahead and simply draw a sketch, a quick sketch. We are told that we are on the first quadrant, so that will make our life easier, obviously. And so the, the points are 900, 300. Uh, obviously, the axes are 900, 1800, 600, and 300. So the largest is 1800. So the shape is, um, is not necessarily a special quadrilateral at first sight. But then you kind of observe that these lines might actually be parallel. So, in fact, uh, when you do uh, find the, um, the, the equation, because we can do that, obviously we are given the two points, it turns out that the equation for this one would be a minus x plus 2400, and the equation for this line up here would be minus x plus 1200. Sure enough, these lines are parallel. How about this one? Um, this one actually comes out as y is equal to, if I'm not mistaken, 3x. Because 600 by 800, 300 by 900, definitely 3x. So the extension of this line would go through the origin. In a similar way, one can find that this one would be one-third of x. So therefore, the extension of this line would also go through that point here. Okay, now that we have a good grasp of this shape, there's obviously a closed area, uh, and our transformation will also take that into another closer area, closed area. But we need to first figure out what will be the after this transformation, what will become of this shape. And um, well, we are told that the transformation, let's call it T, takes the point x, y and maps it to the point uv such that um, u is equal to uh, square root x and v is equal to square root y. So with a simple uh, squaring, uh, uh, this implies that x is equal to u squared and y is equal to v squared. That's exactly what I will substitute onto each of these four equations that I find on my um, pictures to find the new um, boundaries, let's say, of, of, of the transformed shape. Obviously, so let's start with these two here. Uh, sorry, this one and this one. So the, that's point B, by the way. Um, so between point A and B, huh, point AB, the line defined by AB will be, uh, will be mapped onto, so we replace Y with V squared is equal to one-third of x will be replaced with u squared. So taking the square root of both sides, this implies that v is equal to one over root three u. And in a, because we are only in the positive quadrant, we will just focus on the positive ones, obviously. And in a similar way, line cd will be mapped onto v squared is equal to three times u squared which implies that v itself is square root 3u. So both ab and cd will be mapped onto lines which are still going through the origin. How about ad? ad uh, will be mapped onto, well, ad has the following equation, so therefore v squared is equal to minus u squared plus 1200. So uh, one can reorganize this expression and therefore, we would have u squared plus v squared is equal to 1,200. Huh? This implies u squared plus v squared is equal to 1,200, which is simply the equation of, uh, well, uh, of a circle. And in a similar way, uh, Cb 
after the transformation, CB will be mapped onto Z squared is equal to, well, I can just move the y, uh, U squared to the left-hand side and long story short, I would know that it would be mapped onto U squared plus Z squared is equal to 2400. So now I have a very good idea of uh, the boundary of the new shape. These four equations describe the boundary. So in the next slide, I will uh, carry these equations and then onto the next page and then draw the new uh, picture. I simply carried the um, the equations we got from the previous page. Now I need to draw a picture on the um, on the UV uh, plane, which will describe this this area here. Again, we are in the first quadrant. So what I have is that obviously uh, A prime B prime will be on. Oh, so let me. A, so th this one described the A prime B prime. And obviously, I can easily calculate a prime to be equal to recall that a was square uh, 900, 300. So therefore, a prime will be square root 900, square root 300, and b prime will be um, square root 1800, square root uh, 600. What I really need to know is this line. Oh, by the way, the this is the coordinate u, v, I should have said, sorry for that. So this is u, and this one is v. Okay, um, that's the u and that's the v. So therefore, uh, we have this thing here. The equation of this line up here is simply, um, as we said, um, actually, let me go back to the previous page, and I think I might have, uh, I think a prime, b prime was the other one. Um, yeah, it is the other one, so sorry for that. So A prime, B prime is really not that one. So sorry for that, it's not that one. It is rather um, this one up here. So that's A prime, B prime. So uh, we have A prime, B prime here. So we have A prime, B prime here. In a similar way, one can locate C prime and D prime as well. I know that this line actually, when extended, it goes through the origin as well. And now we have the sections of two circles, which are centered at the um, at the origin, and we know their radii. So the radii are ten, uh, well square root twelve hundred and square root twenty four hundred. All we need to do now is to find the area of the region. Uh, of this region bounded by these four segments. Um, and by the way, as I said earlier, this is this equation up here, and then we have this one right here. All we now uh, need to do is, let me go ahead and uh, slide the page slightly so that I have enough space down below. So, um, so the area, therefore, will be based on this opening here. So remember that I know the equation of this uh, is v is equal to uh, 1 over square root 3 u. So as a result, the tangent here is 1 over square root 3, which suggests that this angle here is 30 degrees. In a similar way, the equation of this line through c prime b prime is root 3 u. So therefore, this angle, the whole angle is 60 degrees from the horizontal meaning the angle between these two lines is 30 degrees. So now I know the section, the sector of the circle that I'm interested in. So 30, uh, so the area, so the, the, the yellow, yellow area will be equal to 30 over 360, which is 1 12th of the, of the um, area between the two circles. And let the, uh, so that's the square of the bigger circle, which is 2400. So therefore, 1 over 12, 2400 pi minus 1200 pi. As a result, we get the inside will be 1200 pi divided by 12 will have 100 pi. So um, because we need the floor of this number here, so it will be, um, the answer will be 100 times 3.14159 and so on. Therefore, the answer will come out as 314 and we are done.